Barcelona won their first official preseason game after beating Manchester City 4-1 on penalties. The game in regular time ended in a 2-2 draw, where those responsible for Barcelona's goals were Pau Victor and Pablo Torre, and during the penalty shootout, goalkeeper Ander Astrolaga was a great hero, saving more than one goal. In this first match the fruits of La Masia began to show their faces, and the expectations are that over the next few days Barcelona's young players will reveal themselves even more, because at the moment there are many players from Barcelona's youth teams participating in the preseason. While the Barcelona team is in the United States playing preseason, Deco and Laporta are in Barcelona resolving problems related to the signings that the club will make in this transfer window, where it was confirmed that the priorities are the signings of Nico Williams and Dani Almo. Nico Williams is still an uncertainty for Barcelona as we have already explained in previous videos, and even though everything was apparently already in place for him to sign for Barcelona, an unexpected turn of events happened and at this point there is still no definitive answer as to where Nico Williams will play next season. Given this, Barcelona would not be wasting time waiting for Nico Williams and would already be resolving the bureaucracies of signing Dani Almo as the player is dying to wear the Blaugrana shirt again. At this moment it is confirmed that an agreement has already been reached between Barcelona and Dani Almo, where Deco would have already spoken to the player's agent, presented the proposal, and signed a verbal agreement between both parties. At this moment, Barcelona is trying to convince RB Leipzig to accept the offer as the German club would have rejected Barcelona's first proposal. Newspapers confirm that today Barcelona would have presented a new proposal to RB Leipzig and are just waiting for a response from the club, as for Dani Almo and Barcelona, there is already an agreement reached between both parties. Many Kules fans are against the signing of Dani Almo and are saying that Barcelona should look to sign Luis Diaz if the signing of Nico Williams does not work out. So, in your opinion, if the signing of Nico Williams does not happen, who do you think Barcelona should really sign, Dani Almo or Luis Diaz? Tell me here and I'll be reading your comment, I'll see you in the next video.